Good morning to you. An urgent warning from the country's top pediatricians. Our children's mental health is getting worse, so much so that doctors are now declaring it a national emergency. They say that rates of childhood mental health concerns were already on the rise over the past decade, but now they're skyrocketing. The CDC reports that from February to March of this year, emergency room visits for suspected suicide attempts were up 51 percent compared to 2019 before the pandemic. And joining us now is clinical psychologist John Duffy. Dr. John Duffy, thank you so much for being here. The first thing I thought of when I saw this was what took pediatrics uh, experts to announce that this was an emergency? What took so long? This is a particular frustration among us as clinicians. Uh, the American Psychological Association, the American Psychiatric Association, we've all been waiting way too long to declare a crisis in children's mental health. Part of it is the crisis takes place in the shadows. Mm -hmm. Kids have earbuds in. They're looking at screens in the middle of the night. So it's not overt. It's not as obvious as one might think it would be. Mm -hmm. Though for more than a decade, we have had truly a crisis in mental health among young people. Well, and adults have struggled with their own mental health issues. That means parents, too. How much do parents' mental health issues, especially over the course of a straining, a strained year, financially, health-wise, and in all other ways, affect their children? It's um, striking how if we have a sick household, in other words, an emotionally unwell household, uh, it goes down from the parents to the children and back again. It's a circular kind of pattern, and it is very difficult to break. And during the pandemic, with everybody spending so much time together, mm -hmm. this is just exacerbated. It's just gotten worse. What are two key issues that we need to think about in terms of children's mental health right now? Okay. The first is, from a global perspective, we need more social and emotional learning in schools and more schools providing social workers, especially to underserved populations, um, uh, psycho psychologists, uh, people who are uh, knowledgeable in schools and can teach kids to be aware of what they are suffering. Mm. From a local perspective, check in with your kids in your home and make sure that even your kids who seem to be functioning really well are doing okay because kids can fake good really, really well. Oh, that is so true. And maybe, is there something that we should do in terms of the technology, since you pointed that out? Should we maybe turn Wi-Fi off in the household after a certain hour? I'm, I'm all for that. My, my favorite thing is to keep all phones and devices downstairs once everybody goes to bed, slow down about eight or nine o'clock at night and change the t the tone and the tenor of your household mm. over time. I like that. Yeah. Though you might have to have a lock, a safe, or you put all those phones in because kids are notorious for oh, getting yes. into their cupboards and uh, finding things when they want them. Dr. Duffy, thanks for being with us. Thanks for having me. Oh, great topic. I know we're going to talk about it some more. We'll still ahead. One retired teacher wants a new trend to go viral. Kindness. We're speaking with him on how he's getting kids involved. Stay tuned. So many cable news hosts are playing.